Hello everyone, and welcome to Cougar Mountain Zoo, where we bring the zoo to you. My name is Sasha, and I'm really excited to talk to you all today about one of my favorite species of animal, the cougar. Now, when you look at these cats behind me, you might also think, I thought that was a mountain lion. Wait, I thought that was a puma. Well, believe it or not, you're all right. This species called the puma con color is their scientific name. They have about 200 different common names out there. So cougar, mountain lion, puma, all the same cat. That's because they have one of the widest geographical distributions of out of any cats in the world. You can find them in Canada, the United States, Mexico, Central America, and almost all of South America, which is pretty impressive. That's because they've been found, as long as there's resources available, they can live in almost any ecosystem. So you can find the cougars in the mountains, in the jungles, in the rainforest, and even in the deserts in Arizona. So cougars are considered to be the biggest of the purring cats. And believe it or not, you can either have a cat that purrs or roars. They can't do both those sounds. And that's because in every cat out there, they have a specialized bone in their throat called the hyoid bone. And the hyoid bone is either fully connect or not, and that will be able to have them produce either those sounds of purring or roaring. So cougars are technically considered to be one of the fastest cats out there. They are the fastest cat with retractable claws. That's versus the cheetah that always has their claws out. And they can reach up to speeds about 70 miles per hour, while our cougars back here can reach about 40 miles per hour. Now, pound for pound, they are considered to be the most powerful cat. And that's because they are perfectly proportioned for catching prey out in the wild. This species of cat is a carnivore. That means they like to eat meat. So for them in the wild, especially in Washington state, their favorite prey are deer. Deer as well as elk, even moose. And that's because of how strong they are. By themselves, they can catch a moose on their own. Now it has been found that in the wild, cougars can jump almost 20 feet straight in the air. They've also been recorded lunch 30 feet straight forward and jump almost 60 feet down, land on all fours, and run away. So you have a cat here that is built for this type of environment. Now their scientific name, Puma Con Color, means cat of only one color. Now that's kind of deceiving, because when they're little, they weigh about a pound, pound and a half, can fit right in my hands there, and they're born with black spots all over their body. And that is because when you only are about this big, you need to do the best thing you can, which is hide and those black spots help to act as camouflage. At about six months old, those spots will start to fade away, and that's when you get that cat of one color with that beautiful tawny brown. Now at our facility here, we have three amazing cougars, two girls and one boy. Their names are Tika, Kira, and Miksha. In the wild out in Washington state, cougars can weigh about 150 pounds for the males, about 100 pounds for the females. So when you come visit us here, you can actually tell a good difference between our male and our two females. Now in Washington state, Fish and Wildlife does estimate we have about 2,000 cougars annually roaming around. And that's a really important thing to note because we are extremely fortunate that we have that many here in our state. About 100 years ago, cougars actually roamed almost all of the continental 48 states. But nowadays, you'll only find them on the western part of the country, except for the endangered species called the Florida panther. The Florida panther is found in parts of Florida in the Everglades, and they are an endangered species because there's only a couple hundred left of them out there. Now, for us here at Cougar Mountain Zoo, all our animals, especially our cougars, act as ambassadors for their wild kin. So when you come out and visit or learn about them through our programs here, you're able to know and see what you can do to try to help out these animals in their natural environment. So out in Florida, they're doing all they can to preserve those species remaining. The Florida panther is an endangered species because of two big reasons. One is habitat destruction. A lot of the areas where they used to reside is now being cut down for development for people. The secondary is because of that reduction in habitat, they have an interspecific competition that is now occurring, meaning that they're competing with others for resources. In Washington state, we're doing our best to learn from the cougars so we know how we can make sure it doesn't turn into the Florida panther situation. Research has found that in our parts of the Cascades, cougars actually will have about 18% of their territory be residential. Now don't worry, that just means they like to sneak through the forest to be able to go find their favorite food. Now Washington State Fish and Wildlife has done a great job on doing extensive research out in our part of the state, learning exactly how can we coexist with these carnivores. So they've given you some great tips to be able to know what to do if you're out in the woods and enjoying the day out there, and how to be safe and make sure these animals are safe as well. 
We hope you enjoy this edition of Zoo to You. Now, we have a challenge for you. Earlier, I said that there were about 200 different common names for this cat, but I only gave you about four of them. Your challenge is to research and try to find some more of those names. An extra credit, let me know where it comes from in the world. From all of us here at Cougar Mountain Zoo, thank you so much for joining us again on our Zoo to You edition. Stay healthy, stay safe, and keep learning. Thank you for watching this episode of Zoo to You. If you would like to help support Cougar Mountain Zoo, please follow the link below.